Uh, I'm curious, Jeff, what you think about this. So one of the things that has been discussed is that AI is the future, automation is the future, that you know, that a segment of the population of the workforce is just gonna disappear. That was anticipated. Do you think COVID-19 will make that come quicker? Well, yeah, I'm not someone who thinks that like robots are on the way to destroying sort of um, jobs that, you know, to a, a world without work. But I think what, yeah, what technology does, what it's always done, is it has distributional consequences, sort of. It, it does create winners and, and, and losers. Um, and I think, you know, an episode like this is, you know, potentially will, you know, accelerate the adoption of, of some types of new technology. And so it'll, it'll, it will we'll have sort of a more rapid period of, of winners and losers being created sort of than if technology was sort of going along, you know, in its usual sort of way. Instead, we're going to have this, you know, blip up in the adoption of technology. And so it's a really important part of the, the story of, of government policy, I think, of, of what they'll need to do to respond to, you know, the economic consequences of COVID that, that, that we're very likely to see a, a concentrated period of what economists would call structural change. Now, now, this is despite the fact that the government puts in this massive program called Job Keepers, to protect jobs, uh, and that's going to be ending soon. So, what is going to happen once job keepers ends? Well, I think it all depends on the way in which job keeper ends. I think uh, when you look at the outlook for employment at the moment through to the end of September, when job keeper is uh, planned to finish, you would expect that if job keeper just finishes, there'll be a mass transfer of people. Um, from um, employment, from receiving JobKeeper onto unemployment. And that's why a lot of economists are arguing that uh, we really need continued stimulus after September and we need there to be a transition from JobKeeper. Rather than just stopping it in an instant, we need a way to phase it out.